Hi there. We're going to um, do an example from section 5.2. So practice problem set 5.2, question number one. It's on page 136, and um, you're going to need to look at your textbook because it also uh, references a drug label that uh, there's a picture of in the textbook. Okay, so uh, we're going to start by listing, and as this is a normal procedure for most math problems, we're going to list all of our, our, our knowns and unknowns. So the question says that uh, a doctor orders that a child be given 75 milligrams. So um, that's one of our knowns. 75 milligrams. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so we know that the dose is to, is to be 75 milligrams. And the problem actually says that's Q12H, which just means that dose is to be given every 12 hours. Okay. Um, and it's of, I can't pronounce this, cephodoxime proxetil. Uh, and the question is, how many milliliters is the dose going to be? So, uh, let's see, x milliliters. That's, that's the unknown. And notice I'm writing um, x for the quantity that I don't know. Okay, so now we still have some more things that we do know, um, and that is from the drug label. If you look right below the question, the drug label, the, um, the brand name is Vantine. It's the drug label on the left at the bottom of the page, and it says right on it that the uh, it contains 50 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So, uh, 5 milliliters contains 50 milligrams of the drug. Now, we have our, our knowns and unknowns. We know uh, that the dose is 75 milligrams. We know that the, the drug in stock has 50 milligrams in 5 milliliters. So now we have to uh, select the formula that we're going to use. And this is going to be this one. Amount of drug in stock divided by the per volume weight is equal to the amount of drug prescribed divided by the, uh, the volume or weight needed. Now see, this formula has all the things that uh, we need in it. Uh, our known amounts are the amount of drug in stock, the per volume weight, and the amount of drug prescribed, and our unknown amount is the uh, volume or weight needed. So now all we do is uh, plug in our values, and then we're going to cross multiply to uh, find the answer, or solve for the unknown. So, what we have uh, in stock is, whoops, what we have in stock is 50 milligrams per 5 milliliters. Um, and it's a, it's a good practice to always uh, write the units along with the, the numbers, and you'll see why in a sec. So the amount of drug prescribed is 75 milligrams and the volume or weight needed is our unknown. So it's X milliliters. How many, how many milliliters are, uh, are needed? Um, now, notice that uh, luckily we've been given everything in milligrams and milliliters and we've been asked for an answer in milliliters so we haven't had to do any conversion. As you go through the problems in the problem set, you're going to find that there are a few that uh, are a little bit tricky, or you know, maybe they're even trying to trick you. They will uh, either give you one of the quantities in grams and the other in milligrams, and so you're, you're going to have to convert one or the other. So in our, our, ne our next example, I'll show that. Um, the, the point is you have to make sure all of your units are consistent. So I have milligrams and milliliters, so I'm, I'm all set. Now I cross multiply. Um, so the X is going to come up and across, and I, what I want to do is get the X all by itself. So X milliliters is equal to, so I'll just show with uh, green, the X goes up. This 5 is going to go up over here, and this 50 is going to come down here. So we're going to have uh, 75 stays where it is, 75 milligrams. This 5 goes 
up and across, so 5 milliliters, and that's a, a times in between there, divided by, and the 50 comes goes down and across, 50 milligrams. One of the advantages of carrying your units here is now it's really clear whether or not uh, you needed to do a conversion. I have milligrams over milligrams, so just anything over anything, uh, including, you can, this works with our units too, when I have milligrams over milligrams, the, they just cross out. And so now, um, there's no milligram units required on this side. Uh, you're just left with a one. It's a, what we call a pure number, there's no unit attached to it. There is still a unit attached to the five, five milliliters. So our, uh, our units work out. And this is a good thing to always carry the units along and make sure that they work out. If I had been given um, something in liters or grams or a, a mix of units, they wouldn't work out here. And this is where I would um, discover, if I hadn't already realized, that I need to do some sort of a conversion. Uh, at any rate, we don't need to do any conversions. We've been given all of our quantities in uh, the same kind of units, so we're okay. And so I just have to do the math now. So 75 times 5 divided by 50, and you can work that out. It's 7.5 milliliters. So that is our answer. Okay. And these are the steps I want you to take, too. Write down your knowns and unknowns. Write down the formula that you're using, substitute your knowns and unknowns into the formula, solve it, and write your answer. Okay, that's it for this example.